What's good, my little frogs? What Ninja Frog here, back with a surprise Sun and Moon announcement. Now, I'm sitting at my desk, all right? I was just eating lunch, and I go to my sub box, and literally one minute ago, there's a new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Another one. This is the fourth freaking trailer in August. Fourth. Now, from the thumbnail, it looks like they're talking about the Korra Korra leaks, the ones that weren't in the last trailer. So let's just dive into it. I'm going to react to this thing live. Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, introducing four new Pokemon. Okay, another four Pokemon. Hello? It's a Crabrawler, a, a fighting type crab with iron fist. This thing's dope. That's so cool. He's like, hmm, fisticuffs? Ooh, the sandcastle. Sandga, sandy gas? Water compaction. And pile of um, um pile of sand. Okay. T a shelter attack. It was. So when it's hit by a water type move, its defense rises drastically. Ah oh, man, why does the shovel move? That's so dumb. Look at that thing, Bonnie and Gengar. Oh, and look, it's a little pre-evolution for Beware. Stuffle! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! I want it! I want it! I, and it's sacking a little Pancham! I want it! Well, that's it! Alright, so I've, some technical difficulties have ensued, and I'm now back. And I've already recorded this one before. Let's go ahead and go over the Pokemon on the website. Stuffle, the flailing Pokemon, normal fighting, still as fluffy and klutz. Stuffle's cute appearance and movements, plus the fluffy feel of its fur, all combined to make it super popular. This Pokemon may have a small body, but its strength is extraordinary. Receiving one of its powerful hits without being pre prepared for it can bring down even well-trained Pokemon. And then let's go look at Sandy Ghast. And I've already read this before because I, I was recording it and my audio just stopped recording. It was just paused. It was just stopped. It's the dumbest thing. The sandy gas emerges when the grids of the Pokemon and other creatures soak into the sand after they fall in battle. In essence, it's a possessed lump of sand. Well, at least I got the description right. It says a possessed lump of sand. All right. If you heedlessly grab a sandy gas shovel, you'll fall under the Pokemon's control. A sandy gas uses its power to manipulate children into gathering sand to increase the size of its body. If a sandy gas loses its shovel, it may put up a tree branch, a flag, or another item in its place. These sandy gas are wanderers in search of their own shovels. The tunnel like mouth of a sandy gas can suck the vitality from people and Pokemon. Apparently, it sets the courage of the lower region to put your hand in a sandy gas mouth. Sandy gas has a new water compaction ability and ability that other previous Pokemon has had. With water compaction, its defense stat will go up by two for two with a water type move. So I was right, it was kind of obvious that happened in the Sun and Moon trailer, but this thing's terrifying. <laughs> Straight up terrifying! It's a possessed lump of sand. At least I got creative with it and explained why it's just sand, a, a Pokemon. Then we got its evolved form, Palace Sand. Palace Sand controls human adults, making them build a sand castle that provides camouflage and also raises defensive abilities. So this is going to be a bulky tank. A bulky tank. Unlike Sandy Gas, Palace Sand loses some of its sand from its body. It can restore itself on its own. When moving about in search of prey, the shovel on top of its palace's Palace Sand's head revolves. It's said that the shovel could be serving as some kind of radar. So in the trailer, you guys noticed that this thing's shovel would go and rotate. So it was kind of cool kind of dumb but all in all like at least I don't like it I don't like like inanimate object Pokemon but at least they made it sort of believable like even though I like like Honus was a sword it's possessed a possessed sword and Aegis Slash, is, Aegis Slash is awesome so maybe this thing will be cool it's just I don't know and the brand new Pokemon that we have never seen before Crab Brawler the boxing Pokemon Caprawler has a personality that really hates to lose, and it's driven not only to aim for a higher position than its fellows in terms of social standing, but literally to aim for a higher position in this landscape. So it's like a, it's like a gentleman trying to rise the social ranks. And so it's like a, a boxing gentleman. That's so cool. Perhaps as a result, it's sometimes found clinging to the tall people or to the walls of buildings. If you try to move one against its will, you'll meet with a sound punch. Huh. Crabawler's favorite food is berries. It punches the trunks of trees to give the branches a good shake and knock any ripe berries to the ground so it can feast. Many Crabrawler may gather around a tree, but only the one that emerges victorious in battle against all the others will receive the privilege of eating the ripe berries. Crabrawler uses its claws to protect its face and belly while getting in close to the opponent that 
but fur punches. Its punches are powerful enough to split tree trunks. Crawlers' pincers are sometimes torn off during its bouts, and they are said to be delicious. It's gross. And uh, so it's not a water type, which is kind of weird. It's pure fighting type. It's a fighting type crab with iron fist. So it's, I just imagine this thing getting all the elements of punches. That'd be cool. So all in all, it's a decent Pokemon. And combined with combined with the reveal of Turtonator yesterday, that is a five. Or, Technically, two brand new Pokemon and just information on the other three. So we're caught up on Korra Korra in America now. Plus, with the addition of Crab Brawler and Turtonator. So we've gotten, like, including the Alola forms, 20 Pokemon this month. Is that not crazy? 4, 8, 10, 14, 15, not counting Zygarde, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. 51 brand new Pokemon counting the Alolan forms. So take those seven away. That's 46 or 44. That's 44 Pokemon. And it's confirmed that the starters and freaking um, Picky Parrot are going to have two more stages. So. so Technically, if you count that we I, they know we know they're coming, that's 56 confirmed. So I'm still in shock and awe at all of the Pokemon they've revealed. Sun and Moon is going to be wild, guys. And I'm actually gonna get out of here because I want to get this video out to you guys as fast as possible. So if you guys like this video, make sure you throw a massive mega shuriken at the like button down below. Helps me out a lot. And if you want to subscribe, make sure you click the link in the description as well as the button by my name. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, link in the description as well. I post to Twitter frequently. Facebook, not so much. But that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye. Why do I always do that?